Hey guys, Ice here. I'm gonna show you how you can run a GameCube and Wii emulator on your Mac. You can use a Wii controller as well as a PS3 controller and an Xbox Wire controller. The first thing we're gonna do is go to dolphinemulator.com. You're gonna go up and click on download at the top. You're gonna download the newest software out there. Right now it's 3.5. And then you're gonna click on download. Now you got Windows, you're gonna click on 32-bit or 64-bit. After it's been downloaded, you're going to go and open and run it. You're going to copy it over to your applications, and then we're going to open up Dolphin. Now here, you'll see my games. Now you probably won't have any games here like mine. Your games are going to have to be in ISO format, or WBFS, as you can see here. And after that, once you have it in a folder of some sort, you're going to click on Browse, and you're going to find that folder. And I'll install your games here. So we're gonna go to my emulators, my Wii, hit open, and anything else that was in there which has just appeared. Otherwise, you have to drag one by one. So now we're gonna configure and settings here. Now you'll see I have Force Console on on the general. That's usually the only thing I put on everything else is pretty much good to go. Now we're gonna open up the graphics here, and you'll see what my settings are set to under hacks. You're going to want to play around the textures and RAM here. Usually texture on safe is good to go. But you're going to have to set it up in game because as soon as we close this and go back, you're going to notice that it's not even set up again. And sometimes even in game it does and It's pretty annoying. Now we're going to take a look at our gamepad mapping for the GameCube. I got it set for my PlayStation controller with my buttons all working, my joysticks both working. You can, uh, once you make your layout, you can save it. Same with the Wii. I have two different layouts made up. One with the nunchuck, one without. This one here, I have my IR set up to run off my right joystick. All my buttons working. I got tilt set up with my D-pad. Got my nunchuck set up with my left joystick. And my button set up for that. This is where after you set it, set it all up to whatever you like, save it. And then I have another one for just the config without the nunchuck. You've got to go to an extension and you'll click on it, it'll say turn off, and then you won't have it no more. And then I got another setup for another controller because I got a wired Xbox controller plugged in here. Now we're going to take a look at Super Mario Bros. here. Show that the buttons work on the controller that's all set up. You can see it's running at 100%, 72, 93. This is just because it's the loading screen. It's going to run pretty good here. So we're going to start a new game, one player, and now you can see my frames dropped a little bit, we're at 85, 89, and 50 frames per second. What you're going to do is, we're going to drag this up here, see 92% speed. If you change the texture here, this will usually bring it at a better speed. If you can get it to be around 100% of this loading screen, you're pretty much good to go while playing the game. And there you go, see? It's not even work because I exited. Uh, you gotta play around with it, sometimes it doesn't save it, sometimes it does. When I had my game set up before on this, I was running this intro at about 110%. In 60 frames, oh, baby Bowser yeah. is gonna drop off this castle here, and then I'm gonna show you a couple levels playing through here real quick. So this is one of the levels. Graphics are pretty good. Runs pretty smooth. Running 98% 60 frames, pretty much 160 the whole way. Everything's still running pretty smooth. You got 100% 60 frames per second. This level didn't take me very long to do at all. I have my Xbox, I mean my PS3 controller here where I hit the, the trigger button. It'll just automatically shake the controller for you. When you set up the controller settings on the right side, it'll ask you for shake. The X and Y don't seem to really do much, but uh... The Z button will work pretty well. Set up for your trigger and instead of shaking it or wiggling the joysticks back and forth, you'll uh, 
shake it for you. There we go. Here we go, and I went through the level. Quick actions coming across, and it still runs smooth. So now I'm going to show you how you can save in game on Dolphin and load up your game. So first thing I'm going to do is load up a previous save I had playing two players with my girlfriend here. I'm going to hit continue. We're just going to run over here. This is right before the second castle. So let's quickly beat this guy here. Take so second player grab the key and while the boss is beat now what you can do is save exactly where you are so I can go over here save state slot one save and then I can go to emulator load state slot one there is back to where, where baby Mario uh, back to where baby Bowser is getting away now let's see we can reload it again and Watch all Mario still can't get him, even if he's a rewinding time. Super Smash Bros here. Sp speed varies, it's pretty decent though. You barely notice anything at all. Universe Link. I'm a shitty ass player. I had no idea how to play this game. I'm kicking nothing. Just jumping around. And I'm gonna bring up the full screen here. Go. Yeah, it was long and boring. I'd skip it. Got Mario Kart. First time I ever tried doing this, my speed will drop even though I see here 20%, 10%, 15, 13 frames per second. I just had to go to uh, the graphics settings, hacks tab, and then turn on the textures, put on save. Played out way better as you can see, getting up around 93%. 45 frames but all these actions around and it's still running pretty smooth. On the final lap here, I'm a red shell second place. Finish line is just around the corner. And it knocked out Peach. Grab another one. See what we got. Another red shell. Nice. And Yoshi takes the lead. I got flat out here playing. The game usually runs, it says 110%, 100%, but it's only gonna run roughly 85%, 40 frames per second. Even though it still runs pretty smooth, turning quick, still 75% and 50 frames, it's still moving pretty smooth. Even when it goes down 60% speed and 30 frames, it's still running at a decent pace. Then I also got Mario Party 8 working on here. Not gonna show you any gameplay of that. Probably bore you. Got Zelda working on here. Intro runs pretty good at 150%. In game though, you're getting roughly 80 to 90%. For speed and frames roughly jumps from 25 to 40 frames per second 50 frames per second but on this Wii version my for some reason I had it set up so a black square dot came on the side so I just briefly showed you what the graphics look like how it runs what the speeds going at the top there and that's pretty much it I didn't want to go through all my games running on Dolphin just because I didn't want to make this video long already added like three four games here kind of made it long longer than I expected it to be so thanks for watching subscribe comment 
If you need any help, message me. I'll do my best to get at you. If not, leave a comment. Hopefully someone else will help you out. And hopefully have fun playing the Wii on your iMac. Or on your Windows.